Hello baby gangsters, this is Calvin, also known as Ormer, and this is my first ever playthrough of Genshin Impact. And I can safely say now, and it's good to say it, it's good to say it, that this will be my first ever playthrough, and it will be a playthrough of Genshin Impact. And I'm very, very excited to do this. This is a game that I've enjoyed so, so much so far. I've been thinking about it ever since we stopped playing it the other day, and I've definitely wanted to play it some more. I even, believe it or not, I read a bunch of the comments, and there was a lot of comments, and I took a bunch of notes, and I'm very grateful. Uh, I'm not sure if these notes will help me, <laughs> but we'll try our best. Uh, there's going to be a few things we're going to be doing. There's going to be a monster around here that's going to block this chest, right? That's usually what happens. Or maybe it's just this. There's a squirrel right here. Yeah, um, this has been just such a fun experience. Oh, look at that. Look how pretty that is. And we're going to be playing this game until the wheels fall off. And by that, I mean until we're finished. There's a lot of things we have to do. There's a lot of notifications up in the corner. We got a lot of stuff to do. You know, this isn't something that I'm like, um... What's the hurry? Totally hiding away from. You know what I mean? This is just something I'm going to be doing as I'm going forward. We're going to try and get through a lot of the stuff that you can do in this game. Uh, as casual as possible as well. You know, just try and just, you know, play the game. Have fun. <clears throat> if we can't get into this, I think we need these guys then. Is it three? There we are. So we can get... I thought that would get us through there. Oh, no. It's, it's a thing to get... Oh, can we drop down in from above from here? We can. But then it knocked us out. But at least we can just continually do this. Wait, do we have to do this again? We do. Okay, that's fine. So it's wherever we find them, that's where the connection is going to be. That's actually really cool. Yeah, I wrote down a few notes. And you guys can see if I got the notes right. Or if, like, if I'm just an idiot. <laughs> we'll see. Um, who knows? All that for a common chest, though. We'll close. take it. We'll take it at this stage. A lot of you were asking why I picked this sword for uh, Kaya. And it was literally just, like, the reason was very simple. I just liked how it looked. Um, and I thought it was a good sword. Obviously, there is, like, elemental damage stuff I'm going to have to talk about this as well. Not talk about just do with this episode as well. Like, there's different elemental stuff. We'll probably read that tutorial, too, uh, just so we can get that right. Let's go down and get this guy as well, because we this is the one guy I've wanted to get for a while. Look at this guy right here. And there's also places we're going to have to return to. You guys told me where I can read books. In fairness, like, I'm not trying to be like, hey, look, it, it was kind of difficult for me. But when you're starting off, it can be kind of overwhelming. It for sure can be overwhelming. I think you guys would, would, would agree with me when I say that. And not in a terrible way, because I really feel like, you know, there, there's this game is, how do I say, it? it's free. Right, for the most part. It's free to, to, for access and free to play this game. And I've had a fun time playing this game for like seven hours so far, free. And I don't mind looking at a few tutorials. Now, let's talk about what elementals are which. So obviously we have fire here. I think th I think this thing here emboldens her, like just makes her da great damage, do great damage to everyone. This is of course ice damage. Um, this is like wind damage, I think. Uh, I could be wrong. Uh, level 16, boy. Uh, you also said there's no fear, Calvin. Oh, wrong, wrong button, wrong button. Calvin, there's no issue with using or leveling up your characters to as high as possible whenever you want um because there's, like, there's gonna be other options to level up later fair enough 100 percent fair enough that's good um at least i know that now you know what i mean yeah noelle is also by, by the way a guaranteed character in that list so a lot of people have noelle uh, I enjoy her as a character too. I like the sword as well. I do. I like the sword. So, where do I want to go now, first of all? I want to do something before we get into all this stuff. That's the... I meant to click on the map. Um, it's around here, right? We can teleport right to this trial? Is this the right place we have to go? I don't think it's the right place. Where was I looking for? It was... Let's see. It was around here. So, it's this. So, we'll put a little... Um, Marker here like this, maybe. Yeah. Even though that says monster. Okay, good. And then we can see on the map we're going to be able to get there uh, from this way here. 
Wrong way. Okay, grand. Yeah, because up here is where we fought those guys last time, and apparently it was something that was actually very important, but I kind of neglected to do it. Um, apparently I haven't been picking up enemy items as much as I should be. And the funny thing about that is I didn't even realize. <laughs> this wasn't the thing where I was like, oh, I'm ignoring it. See you later. Um, there's a lot of any enemy items that drop at once. This is a good team, though. I like this team. And you're going to notice very quickly with Calvin, you know, when he's playing RPGs. And this has always been the way that the two things that, that make uh, Calvin excited for uh, any JRPG party in existence has always be, been and always will be how they look and how they feel and when you play as them. And right now, right. I feel very good. Let's gather everyone up for a second yeah. or two. Because I want to... Wait, so they might have respawned, actually. Made wood. That might have actually happened. I know you can destroy their shields with the fire, by the way. Which... Yeah, there's elemental shields as well we're going to have to figure out as well. Here we go. It was right up here that we had to go to the place before. Oh yeah, everyone's respawned. Does that mean we haven't finished the trial? Oh, is that here? Yeah, we had to hit the cryo thing. Jesus, Calvin, come on. Free. And that uh, destroys one of the layers here. Great. And so we have to find three of the, two more of those. Nice. Okay. I'll be more vigilant next time. I think I was just so excited. I thought it was just like, hey, we just we beat a trial. We'll be a trial. Okay, so what I wrote down <laughs> uh, is use R2 abilities more. This is something that like is going to be very helpful. Uh, I can use the four star swords. Very cool. Do one side quest at a time. This is something that a lot of people said was like, hey, you know, you might get locked out of other side quests if you don't do uh, every side quest at, at, at one time. And now it's like, okay, cool. Like, thanks for letting me know that. I realize that now. That's good to know. Like, I didn't realize that before. Oh, so sorry. I legit didn't. I was just doing how I would do side quests normally in any game. So do one side quest at a time. That's very fair. Thank you for letting me know that. Someone also said the Harbinger of Dawn works better on Kaya. Again, like, I have no problem. I'm not stubborn. You know what I mean? I feel like one of the most, like, there's a difference between, like, hey, I want to play this way. It's very clear that, like, the way I've been playing, you know, is what I've known. It's half what I've known and half what, like, I've been enjoying so far, right? And I feel like there's a difference between, like, oh, like, being, you know, stubborn, being, like, true to yourself and being, like, I want to play this way. And then being stubborn and being, like, I'm going to play this way. You know, this is the way I'm playing, whether you guys like it or not. And I would never like to do something like that. So let's actually take a look at the menu for a second here and look at the characters and what the Harbinger of Dawn weapon actually is for Kaya. Because I have no problem with people being like, hey, what do you think about this? So this right here is the Sword of Ascension, Harbinger of Dawn. So people are saying like this weapon is actually really good for Kaya. Really good. Um, and we can enhance it too. Enhance, select materials. Uh, just leveled it up as much as possible. Uh, return, enhance. Let's try it out. So when HP is above 90% increased crit rate by 14%, that's actually really good. That's actually really good. So you can use these four star weapons, by the way. Uh, which makes me reassess a lot of things. Like, Also, we have the debate club, which is blunt conclu conclusion. After an element of skill, on hit, normal and charge attack deal additional damage equal to 60% of attack and small AoE effect. Yes, clearly this would be actually better overall than the Bloodstained Greatsword. You know? And this was just me picking a greatsword because I like greatswords, you know? Um, again, I have no problem trying this stuff out. And I hope that you guys aren't annoyed by um, me just figuring this stuff out right now. Because that's what I'm going to be trying to do for a bit. We have a whole, like, time. And, and whenever I do videos like this, the plan is 
always uh, to upload more after that then, you know what I mean? If that makes sense, it's like to, to make the video longer if we're gonna if we're doing stuff like this. There we go. Cool. Um, and then I want to have an actual look at our artifacts to see what might be best for our our characters for a minute. Because again, I was just doing like what I usually do in RPGs. Was like I'll equip this because it looks it has the green. <laughs> it's green, so I'll equip it more. Um, Let's see, increases, uh, max HP. I want to do max HP increase is good. But then you have, like, max HP increase. Wait, is this, like, which... Oh, this is... No, the, the effect is this. Up in the corner. So attack 3.1%. Attack defense, attack 3.1%. What's the better one? Attack 4.2%. So this one might be better for us, actually. HP is higher. But we want her to kind of be a really strong character, right? So right now she has none of these equipped, I think. So this maybe? And then we look at this as well. We have this. Um, this one we have equipped, which is electro damage bonus. But why would we have that equipped? Uh, physical damage bonus is probably better, right? Attack plus nine. Actually, maybe I want. I might want to do this actually. Maybe. And then we have a lot of stuff here. And this is also attack plus 9. I like that. And then we have this stuff here as well. Yeah. And let's take a look at that for all of our characters cuz there's no you know there's no point in not doing the stuff like this. He's he's an ice boy, right? Is there anything that gives us, like, more ice damage? Well, he's already doing crit damage, so I wonder if we should, like, equip more crit damage, then. Crit rate, 2.8%, HP, 5.2%, energy recharge, attack plus 4. Like, if, she, if we should equip um, more crit rate. Now, again, I could be getting these wrong, and, like, you guys can tell me if I'm getting these wrong. It's not gonna... Well, we should start off with a HP one, for sure. High HP. We should get do the two-star ones for now. Maybe this one? Elemental Mastery. I like that. Okay, and then we have for you. Um, we have what equip right now? Nothing, actually. So let's equip one of the two-star ones, actually. Yeah, I don't really know what to do with these ones, so we might just equip the two-star ones. This builds up our HP. This builds up our defense, I think. Yeah. Um, HP. Elemental Mastery, 13. Let's go with this. Defense. Yeah. And then we can look at these ones as well. HP, 0.2%. And it gives us a bonus. And then we have... Energy Recharge. Attack plus 4. I almost want to get the extra attack with this character too. Crit rate, HP. Yeah, yeah. And then our own character for now. Has basic stuff because we haven't re-equipped stuff in a long time. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Elemental mastery, defense. Physical damage bonus, yes. Mexican salsa, yes. That's a Smosh reference, I guess. Is that good? Yeah, I'm okay with this. I think I think we're good with that. Um, we also have the pause menu. We have notices and mail. So we still have stuff in our mail. Claim all. So we got more fate. Okay, cool. So we got more fate. Awesome. We have stuff in the archive. Which we haven't checked yet. In the archive, you can see equipment. 
and learn more about the equipment, I guess. Which is really cool. Like the Harbinger of Dawn, for example. The sword is an extraordinary full name. The triumphant Harbinger of Dawn, the points towards victory. Only one has ever fallen by this blade on the battlefield. One night the bear drew the sword triumphantly. The night sky lit up, lit up as bright as day. Pinpointing his precise location, arrows rained down upon him. Traveler's handy sword. A reliable and balanced sword made of fine steel. This one, the one downside is that the partial tang design renders it less durable than its full tang counterparts. That said, the partial tang creates a space in the hilt for its hidden knife. Ooh. Uh, scissors, tinder, and other objects. Hence the name Traveler's Handy Sword. It contains all sorts of handy items for travelers. Philip Blade. Skyrider Sword. Leap, the master sword from Skyrider did from the heights of Yuan, Karst. He pierced the clouds as the winds hollered by ears, but what followed was the sound of bones shattering. What had he hoped for was something swordsmanship could not bring him. He pawned the sword for medicine, but uh, die it did not. His dream of flight. There's some really cool stuff here. What we might do is like we might like take breaks every once in a while to read a lot of the stuff here. Um, we also have like a lot of books that we unlocked. The Legend of Vanessa, like this volume one. We got volume two as well. Uh, the friends of Monsad let us revel. Drink to your heart's content. The day when Barbatos answered her devotion. The Amino Archon, Ar Archon uh, sought her fiery hair and descended into her position. Every being deserves a name, the spirit grinned. To weave her fair name into a song I yearn. I seek nothing but your friendship in return. The girl happily replicated. Her fears swiftly dissipated. And so did the battlefield she marched to Barbatos' singing voice. The demonic dragon fled for her might, and the people did rejoice. Corpulent aristocrats crawled under tables at such valiant sight. Monstad is freedom. The winds sang for the people in delight. Lonely forest breezes uh, converged. Jointly, they overthrew the tyrant's tower from the sky. Broken free from the shackles at last, the young lioness stood firm in the winds with her head held high. And so the fiery-headed dame won herself for prestigious fame. Her heart swelled with appreciation to sing by the Amino Archon's side. But no words of gratitude should she utter, Barbara replied. You first conducted what now transpires in your song. You have entrusted me with your friendship and your name. To praise your freedom, my songs came. Friends, let us drink some more, for thence uh, flows the freedom of Mondstadt. When days became night and faces filled with despair, never forget the heroic tales of Vanessa, the dame with the flaming hair. Never seem to cease to pursue freedom, even when the land is bare. It's really cool, really well written as well. We've other stories too, like the Battle of the Squire, Volume 1. Down every street of Mondstadt I have I strolled. The air was filled with the stench of misery and the buzz of revelry. I saw the most arrogant aristocrats. There's a big thing in this game about the aristocrats, and I think it is like a, a power imbalance. Um, and we've heard this time and time again, that like a lot of the um, the fighting back was against the aristocrats. I saw the most arrogant aristocrats, and I saw the most pitiful of the impoverished. At night, the street, streets were spiderwebs, some here to feast, and others their eternal prey. At night, streets are spiderwebs. Oh, sorry. I hear the jangling in the night, and I know it is the chains that fetter the souls of the oppressed. There you go, talking about the oppressed again. I patrol the streets of Monsat at night time, where my peers and superiors once declare, We are the starlit knights, lift thy heads and bear witness. For we, who raise our flags in splendor at starlight, are the true protectors of Mondstadt. But not once have I lifted my head to the stars and gazed at our flag, for I cannot shift my focus from the fil filthy street corners. Destitute peddlers weep in silence, aging soldiers grimace in pain. In the deathly stillness of night, a young girl rejected by the aristocracy pleads for Barbato's mercy. The sighing, uh, sighing of mournful winds rattles the cathedral gate, carrying with them the grief of the oppressed, the assault splendid pal palatial walls. Each mother's call, each infant's cry, enough to dent the hardest of shields, enough to shatter the sharpest swords. The sounds of sorrow and sense sh shiver down my spine. But in the palace, uh, and in the castle, though the winds blow the same over holy ground, they are but the sighs of the ants to the ears of men. Whoa. But in the palace and the castle, though the wind blows the same over holy ground, the wind is the same wherever you go. They are but the sighs of ants to the ears of men. So obviously, like, they're saying that like each mother's call, each infant's cry, enough to dense the heart as she has enough to shatter the sharp swords. But for people in the castle, it sounds whatever. Or like whatever. I, I think I'm interpreting that right. One day at the crack of dawn, a dancer whose sword was her song set foot in Mondstadt. Though clad in chains with cuffed hands and fettered feet, in her silence lay a song. It was a song of freedom, a song of brighter dawn, beyond the walls, a joyous ballad sung without reservation by a people unrestrained. She was the dawn light of the wanderer's troop. Uh, but she spelled eternal midnight for the aristocracy. I once asked, why do you come to overthrow our aristocrats? Do you not know what they are, the first among us? Where do you place uh, their lives on a pedestal? Wherefore do you place your lives on a pedestal? 
came her voice like a fresh breeze. If you claim to know the wind as your companion, then you did not know once, did, did, did you did not once know freedom too? Uh, to her loneliness listeners, she told a tale. Lonesome listeners. A tale of our rulers, better ancestors who had held divine power. The tales of angels, gods, and vile dragons. The tale of deities and peoples of all land. Each myth and legend she turned to song. And the wind carried song to all four corners of the land. In the aristocrats' arenas, her song sounds once more. Her final masterpiece, but it stopped short of perfection. A nameless knight retrieved her sword from a blood-soaked battlefield. And buried, buried it where the gentle winds met in communion. Beautiful. So that's about like, um... A warrior is like, hey, like, you know, yeah, the aristocrats may be, like, important, but did you not remember once you used to be, like, a really free person, too? Like, you know, why are you, um, why are you, like, not, you know, why are you not seeking freedom? So we have the friends thing, by the way. Um, this is the friend request I've gotten, by the way. These are real people. Um, I found a lost Sayu. Like, look at this. this. I did not know this is real people, by the way. Um, and that's my fault, really. Um, but I think for now I'm fine. You know what I mean? It might be fun later on to do some stuff like that. For now, I'm really fine. Um, we have achievements. The wonders of the world. We can claim these. Oh god, okay, yeah, let's claim let's claim can we claim all? Yeah, okay, so you can claim achievements. I didn't know you could do this. At all. This is so new to me. All this is new to me. Um anything else that we can claim? Okay, not right now. We have community, which I don't need to go into. Version highlights, do not need to go into now, it appears. Uh, notices, do not need to go into that now. Uh, then we have set birthday, which I'm fine with. Um, we then have this over here, which is... This is the different quests, is it? <laughs> Barbara is here. We haven't unlocked this yet. Hello, nice to meet you. Unlock a tag, like, Everything's rank 20. Let the magic begin! Can invite at adventure rank 10. Test run. You can test run a character. Okay. But do I want to test characters? Is that something that I'd really want to do? We have 13 days to do this so we can, like, figure... You guys let me know what you guys think about Because I know some of you guys have said it, but I don't know exactly, like, you know... Would I rather just try them out when I get them? You know what I mean? I like kind of the surprise of that. Then we have this, which is... Spring finds forest. Um... Fortress, as birds in a feather, moon glided in burnished uh, bronze, ancient odes sung by stone, lost in thought, drifting in dreams, recalling the magnificent scene before finding it once more. So, claim rewards. Did I do this? What? Okay. So we have events. We have... This as well, by the way. So now we have more of these, so we can actually, like, try this out. Character event wish minus two. We have ten, don't we? You know, we have one. This is standard wish, so don't waste your prior gens on standard wishes. Uh, we got this already. This is Reign of Sovereignty. Every 10 wishes guaranteed include at least one 4 star or higher item. 5 star event exclusive characters can only be attained in the specific wish during specific time periods. View deals from more. So this is like a chance to obtain these characters, is it? Character event wish. Um, every 10 wishes guaranteed includes at least one 4 star or higher item. So the same character is just in a different... There's just a different person at the head of the characters and i think we might try and get this one this one here every time which is guaranteed okay what's optimized path oh i did it okay <laughs> i just pressed x because i was like oh, can we go into this okay we got we got this that's fine that's fine master of stardust okay Is that all we got from this? Oh, 
Oh, wait. One, one additional time fair needed. Wait, so we can... Oh, so there's a chance. Got it. Got it. Okay. This is terrifying. This is terrifying, guys. I feel like I did something wrong. And these are characters that you can get pur purchased with Pyman, so you can get- Oh, you can get acquired in inter Intertwined Fates. Okay. It's, it's kind of scary. I still- Like, people were definitely trying to explain this stuff to me, and I still am quite not fully sure about everything. This took a lot of time, I 100% admit. But, um... I definitely wanted to see- I didn't- I didn't mean to press the X, by the way. I feel so- this plus someone's someone's gonna be like, hey, you you didn't press it right, and like, yeah, probably, yeah, I didn't do it right. Uh, okay, so next up, we should probably go to here and see what quests we can do, right? Uh, during your pursuit, the, the tra track was high. You plunged into depths without hesitation. We did this, didn't we? Oh, we have to return. Oh, okay, we have to return to do a lot of quests. Okay, and then we have their story quest. World quest, break the cemetery seal. And not to be missed. The story has subsided, but Cyrus seems displeased. So we should go to that one next. Okay. Um... Let's travel to here. Yeah, let's travel to here then. Okay, so I've been looking at, like, you know, what I can do with this type of stuff, and I think I try I got another weapon, and it was just a blood thing, great, so I was trying to get, like, again, I think I just, I misinterpreted how you use these to get characters. We will not use it on this. People have said don't use it on this. That's fine. We won't use it on this. Um, I think we're gonna only do it on limited time stuff, um, but I don't know if these are, like, considered limited time or not. Um... I tried it on it twice. I think I'll, you know, I'll let you guys let me know about this. I have no problem you, you guys being like, hey, Calvin, that's, you know, you should do this instead or try this instead. Um, I know we spent a lot of time kind of looking through the tutorial. Um, Glory, I'm sorry that I told you to get a job, okay? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, okay? I didn't realize you were blind. All right, I feel bad. I feel really bad. Okay, so we have to go up and get this quest up here. I think we have enough for rank that we can now um, do that, though. We can now, like, do what we need to do. Um, yeah, it took a while getting into the, the, this, this episode, but we are getting into it, I think. That's what's gonna happen. Hello, Cyrus. How are you, buddy? You're back. What's the situation? There's still monsters out and about. Monsters are still in the area, eh? So it seems the effects of the storm have yet to disperse. So there's still time, then, for the Time Divergence Guild to show its quality. It is up to us to take the monsters out in the wild, while the Knights of the Favreda still focus on defending the city and the area around Mondstadt. I understand. Thanks for your help investigating. I will consider the commissions that we will be sending out. Take this as your reward. What do we get? Cool steel. Awesome, yeah. And then I think we have to talk to the Guide to Freedom. Not in here. Wrong place. It's up here, isn't it? We have our license now, so we can go around the place and do this. So yeah, those quests are not... Uh, they're, they're story quests, right? Uh, that we did with uh, Kaya and Amber. While these would be kind of considered side quests. Um, yeah. <gasps> Is it this way? Yeah, it's this way. I'm just kind of excited to explore more of this world, though. Like, even if I, like, you, like I said, like, you know, and you know, a lot of people are going to be like, hey, you're, you know, you talk about making mistakes quite a bit. And that is literally just because, like, you know, it is a new game and it's very... Isn't oh, And it is very overwhelming. It is. It is very overwhelming. Isn't that Jean? It seems she's talking to someone. Let's let her finish, then go say hi. Yeah, let's eavesdrop and say hi, then. <laughs> Which is what has brought us to this point in the first place. 
If you are unable to promptly deal with the storm terror threat, then leave the defense of Mondstadt to the Fatui. We can put an end to Mondstadt's dragon issues. All we need to do is bring that monster to the... <sighs> monster? Freaking awesome outfit. Look at this. It's so cool. Yes. What's your point? Uh... I'd expect a more professional attitude from your diplomats. Yet here you are saying you want to put an end to one of the four winds of Mondstadt? <sighs> I won't have any of this nonsense in front of the Knights of Favonius. <laughs> it's not as crazy as you make it sound. Fine. That's enough negotiation for today. At this stage, it's simply an amicable exchange of constructive opinions. No? I'll be sure to make thorough notes. Oh, you're back. Yes. Thanks for your help. The elemental flow is finally stable. No problem. The aftermath of Storm Terror's last attack is finally settled for the moment. I can't get over how cool this outfit she's wearing is. It's actually so cool. <sighs> However, the pressure from the delegation has become too big to be ignored. Delegation? From Liyue Harbor or in Azuma City? Shneznaya. They choose to follow the god of Cryo. Their envoys go by a particular name, the Fatui. Heard of them? Oh, them? They're super famous! Sneznaya and Fatui both sound like you're, like you're sneezing. So, I don't know if that's, like, coincidence or not. Wait, infamous is more the word. I don't think killing Storm Terror is the right course of action. The Cryo gods Fatui have always coveted the Animo god's power. I don't believe they have Mondstadt's best interests at heart. Speaking of power? What is it? There's something I need to show the Knights of Favonius. Oh, let us head back to headquarters then. We shouldn't discuss important matters out in the open. So is this considered the main quest, I wonder? Prologue Act 2. So that is the main quest. Um, Mondstadt and Snechnaya are considered the same in status. Mondstadt is independent and does not belong to any other nation. In fact, despite being referred to as a city, Mondstadt is a nation. Oh. Though, Snezhnaya's Fatui are known to be the most aggressive diplomats in Tibet. Makes sense, given the tone of that woman just now. So rude. So, if we're looking at the quest then... So that's the main quest. Right? I guess. Then we have Outrider Style. Which we still have to claim. So we're gonna have to go and talk to, um... We still have to get- Oh, we haven't got our gliding lights. We haven't finished all this stuff yet. <laughs> Leave it to me to not finish the, the actual quest itself. Oh, you have to go to the cathedral. Yeah. Yeah, we'll go there. And yeah, you guys did say that doing every quest to, like, uh, uh, like all at once, all together. Oh, look how pretty this is. Look at that. Like, I don't know. The art, I, I'm gonna keep saying it, by the way. A lot of people are like, oh, he's in for a big awakening when he sees the other places. Probably. You know, probably. But that's okay with me. You know what I mean? Like, I, I'm excited to see, like, what this game has to offer. And we're going to take it at a pace that is comfortable for myself. Um, it's not going to be for everybody. Me talking all the time is not going to be for everybody either. I've learned that out throughout the years, but I can't change who I am. I talk a lot. It's my thing. In real life, I talk a lot too. I can't get over how beautiful some of these persons. Well, all the parts so far in this game have been... Like, they utilize lighting in this game better than, like, most, like, gigantic AAA games, you know? And that's just to be expected, because this style is incredible. What is this? A viewpoint? Oh, I get to take a picture. Beautiful. Lily, Rudolph, how are you? Daddy, what's Mommy doing? Mommy is a sister. She believes in Barbatos, and she helps and guides all her people who believe in Barbatos, too. Daddy, who's Papa Toes? Is he a magic man? Barbatos is the Papatos. <laughs> she called it. That's such a child thing to do. Barbatos is God the Wind. He's a very magical man. The reason why Mommy, Daddy, and Lily have such a happy life is because Lord Barbatos is a very nice man who looks after us. But Daddy, why is the man over there saying nasty things about Papatos? Little boys and girls aren't allowed to listen to what Fatui men say. All right, dear. So there is a divide still. You know what I mean? We saw that there was a divide. I guess like in those lore between the aristocrats and the common people. 
But it seems that even like now, there's like a belief, you know, in non-belief in Barbados and belief in Barbados. Look at the shine in these windows. What the hell? Like someone's saying like, yeah, the budget of this game went up so extra mentally because of... It's pretty good. Because of like, you know, how many people paid for uh, pay for stuff and pay for skins and pay for characters. And you can tell. Like either way, like, you know, again, like I said, in 10 years time, this game's still gonna look good. Congratulations! Here is your gliding license. You're officially legal now. Amber, I've been flying Yay. everywhere. I thought I already had my license. I'll be honest with you. I'm not surprised, though. You are a natural after all. Oh, and I'll sign you up for the next wind gliding championship. I glide so fast that no one can keep up. It's just me up there, on my own, gliding around. <sighs> it's kind of boring. I could say you won't stand a chance to win if you sign me up. But you guys have seen how good I am at this gliding stuff. Cool, I'm definitely going to win. It's still a big lie. <laughs> That's an even bigger... Bore lies, just this is an even bigger lie. So we might as well lie a little bit easier. Oh, you know? fighting talk. <laughs> it seems you have no idea how terrifying the championship really is. Amber, I've seen how terrifying the training is. The test was terrifying. Well, until I kick your butt in the championship, I wish you a happy, liberating, and above all, law-abiding, gliding experience. Cool. Make sure you obey the rules. Whatever you do, don't get your license revoked. Poor Amber getting her license oh, revoked brother. all the time. If you ask me, that's a bit rich coming from Amber. Yeah, but like, you know, Amber's cool. Amber's cool, so you know, we'll let her away with it. Nice. To be continued, so there's gonna be another quest with Amber then at some point. She disappeared. Here she is. What's the next quest? The next? No, we can't do it ourselves. We're not able to do that. That's not how it works. We got new uh, Primo gems as well. Okay, we should be careful as well about what we use for these stuff as well because I'll, I'll show you right now. Like, this is my current inventory with this stuff. Um, it's terrifying because, like, I, like, even though you guys have said, like, use, use them on limited time things, is this a limited time thing? You know what I mean? I don't know. I don't know. Then you go into the shop Ola, and, like, should I buy Fischl? Should I buy Zangling? You know what I mean? Stardust Exchange, should I buy this stuff? You know, with my, with my stuff? Character outfits, should I buy some character outfits? I don't even have these characters, I don't think. I do have this character, but that's gonna cost a lot. Recommended. Five euro? No thanks. You know, it's very- it, it, like, I, like, I have no problem saying it. Because I, 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 I don't- I don't have to look cool or smart in front of people. I'm confused about the obtaining of characters still. I am. You guys have done a good- I've literally read your comments, and I've been like, you're like, hey, you know, don't use these for the limited time things. 160 prior gems is one fate. Don't use this for that. Um, and now I'm still worried I've made a mistake with this as well, you know? And I'm gl I'm very happy that you guys have been very nice about it, by the way. That's one thing that, like, I've noticed so quickly, and I said this on Twitter as well. I said this on X as well. Twitter. Um, that, you know, you guys have been incredibly nice. Do you want to fight? Is that what you want to do, Ellen? You need something? Sorry, I'm all sweaty. Ellen, sure. About Sorntar. What stole sword style is that? Well, I'm copying Master Jean's technique. Every time she wields her sword, you know it's the Grand Master at work. Only those great characters can use a sword fighting style like that, right? It seems like I can just focus on power training. I need to start building character too. <laughs> Music's great as well. So, next up... Wrong thing. Next up, we have... Break the sword, cemetery seal. We still haven't done this yet. This is we unlocked one of them. Unlocked the tri seal. Um, this one's rank fifteen. We need to get to rank fifteen. This one doesn't actually have a marker on the map though, because you kind of have to just explore it, don't you? Yeah. Okay. I want to see though if maybe. We can buy some more upgrade materials. Don't worry, guys. I got my license. It's not going to get revoked. It's not going to get revoked. It, there's no... Oh, should we talk to... The, wait, I should talk to... um. <laughs> this. Yeah, I walked by Glory in the first episode and said, Get a job. <laughs> and everyone was like, She's blind. I don't recognize the voice of your child from afar. 
You don't recognize someone saying get a job? Though I can't see I'm always here to listen to anything you need. I'm so sorry. Like, I didn't know. I really didn't know. Why would I say this? Who are you? Sorry, where are my manners? I'll allow to introduce myself. I'm Glory. I come here often, waiting for Goblin to come back. I pray he manages to avoid those rotten hilly churls and the abyss orders on the way soon on the way so he can come back with me soon. I'm rambling again. Sorry, it's just so nice having someone to talk to. Who's Godwin? He's the man I love. He's the knight, and he's away with the Grand Master Varkas expedition. It was too hard to let him go, but I was so proud of him managing to join Varkas expedition party. Sadly, I don't know where the, uh, when the expedition is supposed to end. All I can do is wait here for him. So she's waiting for uh, the love of her life to come back. Aren't we all, Glory? Aren't we all? You know what? You don't have to get a job, Glory. You do what you want to do. I feel so bad when people are like, she's blind, bro. <laughs> I was like, no. <laughs> hey, did you hear what the informants have been saying? Apparently, the knights with uh, Feronius weren't working alone when they resolved the Stormtail's crisis. They had other people working in the shadows. So you're telling me that there's a third faction we have to worry about now? The Fatui, the Knights of Feronius, and now these guys? This is not good news. I think there's an opportunity here. The people of Monsad don't currently know who the mysterious actors were, so... Why would you dress up a little bit? Run some propaganda about how the Fatui rushed to Monsad's aid in their time of need. Resolving the Storm's Terror's crisis once and for all. <laughs> that could be risky. If I saw through the propaganda, they'd end up be, uh, even more mistrustful of us. There's no need to worry about Fatui's uh, uh, propaganda pro uh, capabilities. They know what they're doing. In any case, given how powerful the Fatui is, who would dare question us? Wish us the best of luck. I'm telling you, everything we find suffering. Yeah, I heard everything, and I'm gonna tell. I'm gonna be a big tell tattler. I'm gonna tell everyone, you know that? The I'm storm tell. terror crisis. Yeah, I'm gonna Did tell. something terrible happen again? You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell Glory first, and then I'm gonna tell everyone else. Have you heard? The storm terror crisis. I wonder if you could, I wonder if you can tell somebody about that. What's down here? Is this another way to get in there? Ah, wait. <gasps> Uh, is this another way to get down here? Coordinator of the Knights of Avonius. How are you? Well, Met, what do you need from me? Hmm. I'm the captain of the Sixth Company, in charge of logistics. You can call me Hertha. My work uh, mostly includes the character and administration of our baggage train, resource management, and record keeping. But Monza's state is, uh, as, as you've seen, with the Grandmaster taking much of our manpower with him. We've since uh, been in the constant state of shorthandedness. At the same time, our inventory is running a surplus to match, so I'm more than willing to exchange some of it for a little hand uh, here or there. I'm taking all corners who have experience in sol solving problems. With any luck, we'll take some of the burden off our acting grandmaster's shoulders. But first, you need to learn uh, to earn everyone's trust. As far as starting with a few small errands for the citizenry. Yes, sure. Where? These? Hertha. Transport I'll do it. Hertha, anything for you. What about you need to me? I'd like a little quest. No, I get... Hertha, I will do it. Hertha. 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 Hertha, please. Guy. Whoa, oh my god, it's like Cider Lake. Yeah, we've been in Cider Lake before because this is the entrance of the place as well, right? It surrounds it. Really neat, look at this. Again, it's just a really pretty game. Uh, what we might do before we go on with any more quests, first of all, there's a freaking thing over there. We might go and get that. <laughs> what we might do before we go on with any quests, and this is just the truth, what I want to do. It's, it's the God on his truth, guys, okay? You gotta listen to me, okay? Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over here, and then I'm gonna explore some more of the map. In fact, I think one thing I might want to explore with this map is just like... Well, we've unlocked almost everywhere, but we haven't unlocked the areas over here. So I think we might want to... I want to unlock these areas and just explore around a bit. You know what I mean? Uh, or at least like this and this. Does that make sense? And this. This first, I think. Yeah. So around Springvale. I think that makes sense. So then we can like unlock this area around here and then like maybe naturally explore stuff later on after that as well. And then we'll go back to some of the story quests as well. Man, it's 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 crazy because like like I've been thinking about this game all week. You know what I mean? And the way we're going to be playing it, I've said it before to people, uh, the schedule will be uh, Thursday, Saturday, Sunday. That's when we're playing Genshin Impact. And we're going to be playing uh, two hours at a time minimum. That's the that's the time I want to put into it. But also at the same time, that what's so funny about that is like, if I have time, you know, you'll get a Friday video. You'll get a Wednesday video maybe sometimes. It all just depends on when I, like, when I have the time to do so. You know what I mean? Um, 
a lot of the Genshin fans have been so respectful as well. Like, they've come in and they've been like, this is a new channel that I haven't really been uh, a part of myself. So I don't really know the rules of this channel just yet or whatever like that. Not rules, but like, I have to just get acquainted with the channel. And like, what I've gotten is that like, it's like a bunch of people. Oh, so he's wet, so we turn to ice. Is that right? Cool it. Yes. And I forgot the button to hit the shield then. Yes, look at that, guys. You proud? <laughs> you proud? You proud of me? And, like, you guys have been like, hey, like, you know, oh, three days a week? That's awesome. That's, like, so awesome. We get to see Genshin Impact three days a week. And I also said this, like, how, like, it's just, like, you guys have, like, so quickly welcomed me in. I've been like, hey, you know, you'll probably like this and you're probably going to love this. If you love this, you're going to love that. It's been really enjoyable conversing with you guys, too. So I thank you for that. And, like, some of you guys became patrons, too. That was so freaking awesome. Like, so awesome. Do we get frostbite? Do you get frostbite, I say. Look how much easier it was destroying a character with a shield this time around. What's this? What? What? Oh, wind, is it? There we go. And what did we do? Just this? Oh, we'll go over and get this one as well. Looks like they're on the three different islands, doesn't it? Oh, drop down and get this. So I guess I'm just saying thank you for that. Because it's made a, an experience of playing this game where people were saying, hey, Calvin, like, this is going to be scary because like, it's, the, the audience can be kind of a bit erratic. And it's like, man, you're all very sweet. You're all very sweet. No one's been pushy. No one's been over the top. People have been given to the Patreon, even. They're freaking awesome. I adore you. I call my audience baby gangsters. I always have called my audience uh, baby gangsters. That's always been the, the name for you. Not always, sorry, not always, but like we, we've kind of developed that over the past while. The idea of calling the audience baby gangsters. Um, that's kind of like the, someone described it as the, the fandom name, I suppose. And that is, yeah, that is the fandom name. Uh, if you want to call it that. And this isn't a thing where like, you know, you're subscribed or you're watching the videos regularly, all this stuff. Oh, we're going to die. We're going to die. This isn't a thing where I'm like, you're new, you're the new guys, you know. If you're watching my videos, you're a baby gangster. Whether you like it or not. Are we going to survive this? We're not going to survive. We're going to die. We're going to die! Ah, go! Ah. Huh. Wow. I didn't know dying could happen in this world. Wait. Where are we now, by the way? Oh, we're over here. Let's Amber do this. Look at that. So much higher. Can you take me higher? Hot and I'm golden dream. Go there. They go there. No, we were in the right place. Damn, damn it, Calvin. And really what I've discovered as well about the Genshin audience is that you're just happy to see someone play the game again. You know, someone you know, someone playing your favorite game. Uh, and that to me is like how I feel when people play games that I love. Like I can never understand people gatekeeping games and being like, you know, this is my favorite game. All you guys only started liking this game like years ago. Um, or there's subtle gatekeeping that happens sometimes where people do a thing where they go like, uh, I've been playing this game for 20 years and I gotta say, like, play a few more games you'll be all right it's like no it's just like if, if someone i always feel like like if someone only watches people play like a game it's like you can be a fan of that why gatekeep a game that you love dearly i would want my favorite game to become more popular because then it means that there's more stuff for that game there's more games in that game series look what happened with games like dark souls or now look at the yakuza series there's people now who have dropped off the yakuza series 
Now, here's the thing. If you're not into the Yakuza series, Jesus Christ, like, if you're not into it anymore, that's fine. I know uh, a lot of people that just aren't into it for good reasons. But the people who are like, now it's just, it's not, it's not Yakuza anymore. It's like, dude, like, it's, it's Yakuza. Aha! They are wet, so we must freeze them. You proud of me, guys? <laughs> what do you think? They are wet, so freeze them. Fascinating. Fascinating indeed. Okay, so... Sorry, Paimon, I didn't mean to uh, click on you. Uh, so let's go... I guess, like, we could we just go straight over to there, because this is where we have to go, is up this way. Towards here. Yeah, let's go. Should we swim across? Is that going to work out? What do you think? What are you thinking, guys? Let's go. It shouldn't be that far. Right? Yeah, it should. Oh, look, we can walk on power. It's actually shallow. That's cool. Brave, actually, to put shallow water here. Brave. Very brave of this game. I'll look at the tower from this distance. Pretty neat. Like the, the cathedral, I suppose it's called. Ah! They're ice, so we use... Fire to melt them? I think ice guys also like get damaged by like superconduction as well, so maybe like electricity or something. Oh, you you tried to read. To rekindle yourself. Very brave. Very brave. This is something else that you guys I taught me. No oh, unturned. we're using our new weapon. Look at that. Level 18. Level 18 Billy Barty. These guys are tough. Oh my god, yeah, the blunt damage does so much better. Right? Already it does so much better. Like, that's something that, like, I sh I, like, you know, again, I just probably was just like, cool sword, you know, cool sword. That was my whole th thought process probably in that whole thing. Was like, oh my god, we got a cool sword. You know what I mean? Like, I, I wasn't thinking about anything else other than, oh my god, we got a cool sword. So where are you going to take us? <laughs> we can do this. I think it resets though, right? No? Is it still over there? It is. Okay, let's follow him. It's. I think we're not high enough. That's it. You know, we just have to get higher. Maybe because on that part of the rock over there. Really, we could have swam over there and it wouldn't have been a problem, but, like, I feel like, you know, it's the principle of it, isn't it? Trying to get better at this gliding thing. Well, if it isn't the rock, boys, what is the rock? Oh, I think we just, like, do this, right? Leave it all to me. <laughs> like, the blunt damage does a lot more damage to these guys. Look at this. I guess they are level 12, though, as well, so, like, if we weren't doing damage to these guys, we'd be in trouble. In the right, Noel. Yeah, the weapon's way cooler for Noel, too, right? And it works. Wolvendom? This is a long, long piece of travel, isn't it? Oh, there's a, there's a chest. He activated a chest for us? He did. Oh, thank you so much. Awesome. And we got some new stuff as well. My name is Noel. I would like to talk to you about your feelings. 
Oh, da, 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 da. <laughs> yeah, it's already doing like way more damage. And like, can I be honest with you? Feels better. Um, feels. Oh, I'm frozen too. Instantly better. Um, as Noel. So thank you guys for suggesting that weapon. Um. Freeze. Let's go get these guys, actually. Hey, now. Why'd you get this? That felt better, right? Now look what happens. The swinger dinger. That's what we call it. You, you do, you about to get swinger ding too. I don't want you back up here when you knew you were going to get swinger dinged. Imagine that. Ross the quick. Ross, can you quickly help? That would be great. Ross the Quick. Ross the Quick sit down. Maybe his name should be. Ross the sit down. How are you doing? Is that a passing traveler I see? Stick with me and view from this. Uh, the view from here is incredible. What are you doing here? That's a good question. What am I doing here? I lost my way and got chased by the boar. Then the hilly trolls joined the chase. I ran until my legs gave out and my energy was gone. Then I suddenly noticed this lake. Then I had the realization that I spent my whole life running. Running for no reason. No matter what, right now I'm going to give myself a proper rest. Screw the missions and all that. Although there is the fact that I don't report back to the gang soon, they'll find me something like 800,000 mora. I forget how much exactly. Whatever, screw the gang of thieves too. You're from the gang of thieves? Now that you mention it, yes I am. Originally my mission was to find this place called Abandoned City. But since I haven't reported back on my progress in so long, I've probably technically been kicked out of the gang by now. That said, if you're going to report me, I won't run away. Either way, let me enjoy this view for a bit longer, won't you? Um... I'm not going to report you. You can just be yourself for a bit there. Ross the stealer. Ross the thief. Ross the boy. Hi, it is I, Noel. Swinger Dinger style. <laughs> ah, how did she know the secret power? The secret Dinger is hurting me. Finga. How did she learn the Swinger Dinger? Only ancient demons know that. Work. I'm I'm always so like always like you know I think people are gonna be like that, that, that I get you know I think I think people are gonna get it very quickly that we we, we do a lot of bullshit talking here in this game or in in, in let's plays in this uh, on this channel I'll you know It, it relaxes me to say Swinger Dinger, okay? I don't know what it is. It, it makes the fighting easier. Huh! All in a day's work. All in a day's work for Swinger Dinger. What else would you call that move like, you know? Spin attack? You're crazy. Look at this. Look at this little, like, clearing and not clearing. Look at this little, like, um, I guess, would you call it a valley? What would you call it? It's nice, though. <laughs> Kaya oh, style. So sorry. <laughs> Look at this. You guys, you awakened the demon. You said, I am ice. Watch this, I can walk on water as well. No, I can't. <laughs> okay. You can actually walk on water. But you have to do it this way, don't you? Very cool. What's over here? Love Kaya saying, dodge this to rocks. Really, he is the the greatest mind of our generation. And I appreciate him, to be honest. So we've unlocked another part of the map. Around this area. Um, Cool. There's another one up here as well we can unlock too. So these are just waypoints. They're not unlocking the map. I forgot about that. Yeah, we have to get the big statues if you want to unlock waypoints and stuff like that. Carrots. I love carrots. Carrots are nice. Hey, what's that? Hello. I'll take that. It was so funny because people were like, Calvin, I didn't even know that you could unlock this thing by doing this thing. I think it was something with like, I forget, like someone was like, you can unlock this thing by doing elemental stuff. And I was like, I still don't know. I don't know what you're like talking about. Sun. You know? There's a chest over there as well. We'll get that too. This is just a really pretty place to explore. And like this whole place in Mondstadt has just been really fun to explore. And it's considered a city. Uh, which is interesting because 
There's a lot of places like that in the world that, like, a lot of people call it, they're called cities. But a lot of people wouldn't even, like, consider them to be cities. Like, what would you consider, like, this whole, like, obviously it's a kingdom. I, I thought it was a kingdom. Huh, Noelle, it's your job. It's time for the spin attack. Are you happy now? You happy, you, you freaks? Oh, and uh, no, not you guys. If you if I call you guys freaks, it's non-derogatory, okay? You'll realize that very soon. Um, and also, like, I don't want to make it seem like it's only new people watching this series. It's also, like, people who've been here for years as well are watching this, too. This is, you know, which is great. It's great. How have I been playing for an hour and ten minutes already? <laughs> That's insane. So, I want to go over and get that statue anyway. We're going to go get it. And then we'll do, like, maybe, like, uh, the, the story quest. Aha! Of course. Cool it. Are we immune? Oh, they're ice. Not wet. Calvin, stop being stupid. There's only one thing for it. Hey, hey. Hey, I'm just trying my best. I'm Amber. Okay, listen here now. They call me the best aim in this room right now. <laughs> There's no one who has a better aim on this bow sitting in this chair that I'm sitting in right now, guys. The enemy encounters make this, uh, you know, every single location you explore feel very fresh. It feels very fresh to explore each area. You know what I mean? Grasping enemy around here, look at this. No? I mean, like, I'm not gonna argue. <laughs> Get swinger dangered. Someone needs assistance. Do they? White iron chunk. I wonder if that's more rare. Is that a castle? Is that our, is that no? That's just Bonset, isn't it? I was like, oh my god, we found a secret castle, but that's literally just looking at Monset. We're gonna go up this direction here. So towards here. Yeah. I still don't know the location of that quest. That's gonna be a bit difficult, I think, to find for me. That quest where we have to find the three things. Y'all think you could you could have done this. I'm talking to the other members of the party, by the way. This is a Noel exclusive. Do we yeah, we burn these up, right? I like that there's so many like little things to do on the map. Right? There's like so many tiny things you can do on the map that are really, really cool. So how are we gonna get up here? What's the best way? Just climbing? Yeah, I think climbing is probably the best thing to do. Um, oh, climbing there. Way, yeah, way better idea. And there's a chest up there, too. Another target tracked down by Outrider Amber. Yeah. So, yeah, climbing up this would be a better idea because, like, um... There's an it's, it's it's a smaller way to get to the top. Yep, yeah, see when we only like dealt with half of what we like Del oh, okay, so this is what- what type of magic is this then? Can we use ice on him? That's a superconduct, but is that good or bad? <laughs> what if we try amber on him? We will have a look at the, um... Uh... Bet you can't keep up with me! The actual 
tutorial itself to see if it gives you like if there's is like a rock paper scissors system and we would then know you want to stop hopping around i'd say he's gonna try and reset himself look at this he's gonna reset oh see he's getting power from that There we go, nice. Is it the same with these guys? Will these guys get overloaded as well? They do. Nice, so it's nice to have Amber in the crew. And you, I guess we only really replace, so is that how we get rid of these things as well? We do, and that gives those guys power and we get an Electro Crystal for our trouble. Sick. And there's also something over here as well, like a, uh, yeah, I can see it. So we can offer up to the statue when we get there. Oh, poor things. Poor things. Yeah. They didn't know they were going to get swingy dingy this morning when they woke up and got their breakfast. But now here they are. Getting swingy dingy. The whole world looking at them. <laughs> but Zimon said staring at them from here. Look. Those guys got swingy dingy. I gotta stop the swingy dingy business, guys. <laughs> Or just make a t-shirt saying swingy dingy. I don't think anyone will wear a t-shirt saying swingy dingy. Dodge this. So let's start off just by doing this. Just get rid of this bro here. Nice bit of damage there to these guys. Is he gone too? They're all gone. Awesome. Love it. Love it. Let's Love the combat in this clean. game. It's really, really fun. There's another little waypoint over there. We're going to be going for that in a second, but on the map, right? Oh, I think we already got it, did we? Yeah, because it's no longer on the map. Yeah, that's fine. Someone needs assistance. No, it's there. It's just we have to get closer to it. No? We are the children. Oh, shit. Yeah, once we get up here, we'll look at that elemental tutorial and we'll see if there's any rock, paper, scissors system, just so we know. Oh, it's there. Look at that. It's right there. I'll keep this close. Yeah, keep your keep your friends close and your weapons closer, am I right? Am I right? There's like an encampment down here too. Or at least like they were trying to do a trail here. <gasps> Look, there's a boy there. Let's go and get these guys with our ice powers. Watch this. Watch this, you watching? Don't get frostbite. No, he equipped it right away. Okay, let's then get these guys first of all. Just do some damage to these guys then. He equipped that right away. He was like, hey, one second, buddy. Let's let this burn for a bit. That's gone. Um, so, should we try using Wander's ability then? Oh, he got us good there. Look at that. One second, buddy. Disappear. Okay, maybe Noel. Steady as stone. Yeah, she does great damage to these guys, actually, I think. Do you appreciate this? Is this, is this your life? What'd you get there? What's that? Oh, he, he got a shield back. Very cool. Adds a layer to this fight altogether, isn't it? Can 
music is great too. Freeze. Okay, so yeah, he's yeah, ice is on him. Yeah, that makes sense now. Or oh, maybe not. We're gonna pick up the items from him as well, guys. One second, and then we're gonna look at that tutorial. We're gonna look at that tutorial, okay? I promise. What's the hurry? Cool it. Dodge this. I must leave no stone unturned. It's nice having this like uh, move as well for Noel. If we can destroy all these guys though, like that's some good experience, you know. That's some really good experience. And there was like also an item over here I want to get to. You can see it on the map, can't you? Okay, one second though. One second. Tutorials. Hold on a second. Elemental reactions crystallize. When Geo comes into contact with Hydro, Pyro, Cairo, or Electro, elements crystallize will be triggered. Next. This type of elemental reaction can generate corresponding elemental shards and provide your character with various elemental shields. Okay. Hold on a second. Uh, we have elemental reaction bloom. When the creatures are affected by hydro and dendro, the bloom reaction will be triggered, creating dendro cores. Only a certain number of dendro cores can exist at the same time. If new ones are created once the limit is reached or if the duration of the existing dendro cores ends, the pre-existing dendro cores will burst, dealing AoE damage. You have Hydro Shield yet to protect yourself. Perhaps you can break it down uh, with Cairo or elemental attacks that redact with Hydro. We have... Probably you can get Pyro Shield, guys, while well, it's going to be in this as well. Set it on fire. Um, okay. Pyro. Pyro attacks can be used to affect by... Uh, uh, when Pyro... Okay, that's great. Yeah, elemental reactions. Yeah. When Cairo meets Hydro, Frozen occurs. Great. When Pyro meets Hydro... Okay, vaporize occurs. The effects of pyro will just dissipate when vaporize occurs. Oh, okay. Vaporize. Vaporize itself does not inflict damage. However, the pyro hydro attack that triggers vaporize deals increased damage. Electro charged. So this is electric. When electro meets hydro, yes, good. This is this is yeah pretty self-explanatory. Electro charged water. Electric elemental reaction overload. When Pyro meets Electro, Overload occurs, resulting in explosion. Yes! Oh, that's what we were using as well. Superconduct. I've wanted to know about this. When Pyro meets Electro, Superconduct occurs. Uh, do you AoE die? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we were doing that as well. Now we, like, we know the Swirl is what I want to know as well. When uh, Animo meets a certain el or other element, it can trigger Swirl. Swirl can deal elemental damage, affects beings, and generate further elemental reactions. Melt. Melt itself does not inflict damage. However, the Pyro or Cairo attack that triggers Melt inc deals increased damage. There we go, yeah. Electro is what we have to use for this one. Because it overloads. Perfect. So we can like use so we can switch back between our other character, our mage, right? I yeah, okay, that's great. That's great to know. That's good to know. Okay, that's good to know. We were in fact we were, we were kind of like uh implementing that ourselves, I guess. So it's it's not like it was totally lost on us completely, you know? We were definitely doing a better job with that this episode, I feel. Now I'm climbing this because people are in need. <laughs> Is anyone in need? Which means we should totally go back to the other areas. That are, or I guess like naturally go back to them because I don't want to just like be like, who's there? Who's there? Who there? Free! Get out of here! So he's Pyro. So, using electricity would have been smart, right? Steadiest. I suppose we don't have her right now. We could equip her. Time to clean up. Um, and then maybe like, but who could we replace her with? I kind of like all the characters. I guess we could try, like, but see, Kai is like so useful as well. Kai 
Pie is so useful. We didn't get that our enemy's items. Oh lord. What you do today, Noel? I swing you didn't. Well done. Did you do anything else? It's the swingy dingy lifestyle, what can I say? Swingy dingy for life, am I right guys? Swingy dingy. Noel won't stop saying swingy dingy. It's it's getting weird. Even when she's not swingy dingy and she's saying swingy dingy, she cooked food the other day and said swingy dingy. Swingy dingy, my guys. No, Noel, you Noel, you literally just bought you bought car car insurance. Hmm. I think we're remembering this wrong. No, no, Noel, you literally just bought car insurance. You did not do a swingy dingy. Swingy nope. Are you sure? I'm 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 fairly sure that you just bought car insurance. That's what happened here today. That's higher up, we should go to that one. Well then. I guess I was wrong. How could something that I was so sure of make me feel like I'm so disgusted? My life is over. I feel betrayed. The swingy dingy lifestyle wasn't so swingy dingy after all. Aha! Oh god, please just land properly. Wow, these will come in handy. Um, okay, so the item is this way, isn't it? Or should be this way. There it is. Cool. Uh, no, I didn't even see that. Is that the burn up there as well? Oh, there's a chest over there as well. Honestly? I've learned how valuable everything is in this game in terms of collecting chests. I know we're very close to where we wanted to go. I feel like we should collect every chest we see. I've learned more and more how valuable it all is, you know what I mean? It's so valuable. Like even like the tiniest of enhancement door is gonna help later on. And I like that by the way. I like that every single chest that you obtain in this game means What are these scratch signs? What the hell is this? <sighs> Told you I'd win. Who was able to scratch rocks? Who was scratching rocks? Own up right now. It's gotten so quiet. Well, you go out in front. Ah! Looks like I'm the one who got your plans figured out. Dodge this. <laughs> Quite the fine. Got that. There's more scratch marks over here. What demon is here? What demon is hanging out here? What are we unlocking? That's a bigger question. Oh, it's just a chest, okay. Nice. There has to be some, and this has to be one of the bigger bosses then, right? Look at the scratch marks. Well, you gotta go down first. I'm sorry. Sure thing. I don't have any fear. Hello? Well, this is one time you're allowed to say swingy dingy. It's actually beautiful from like looking from this perspective. So I guess this might be a boss for later. We'll see. Or did we already fight something here? <laughs> it seems very familiar. I'm stuck. Guys, I think I'll live here. No, 
Well, this is your home Someone now. Needs assistance. Music is fantastic. Okay, so we're going in... We went, we went the long way around, but we're going back up this way, up this mountain here, up the side. So I guess we head up this way then. That's the plan. Do you have enough stamina? We do, we do. We'll just go up. That was actually dead. You didn't take long at all. And are we close to getting the wrong button? Wrong button, I say. We have to climb again, I think. Whoa, look at the sky. I mean, it makes sense the weather would change like this. It's the weather. <laughs> You're not going to get pretty skies every day of the week. Oh, it's nighttime, though. The stars look different around here. So there's a waypoint just over here. Yep. We should be able to see it, actually. The controls are getting easier to learn as well, by the way. You'll be happy to know. They're actually getting way easier. Oh, look at this. Is it a challenge? No, it's not. It's just a... Oh, it is a challenge. Cool. Um, Amber style? I'd say get down if I were you, actually. That's probably the best bet. So this is not what we want to use on these guys. So maybe we try using this. See, I want to... I want to use Noel because we're about to do a challenge, and it might be better to keep all of our special little powers. I know I wasted one already. Noel's little shield thing is pretty cool, though. The way it can like replenish so quickly, right? I missed a spot. gone. I'd come back down if I were you. Might be a good idea, wouldn't it? There we go. Let's try this challenge out. Oh, it's a, it's a gliding challenge. Oh, no, 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 back up. <laughs> Let's start the challenge again. It's okay. So where is the chest? It's oh I see it. I see it. Fair enough. We can do that. We can do that. That's fine. See, I okay, you don't press it like that either. I just I pressed the button once and held it. So you have to jump and Okay, fine. We got this. We got this. Don't worry. We got this. We got this. Calvin's the best glider in this city. Right? Would you agree? Like that. Oh my god. Open the chest in 20 seconds. How would I open... Oh my god, now we have to defeat them as well? Is that what we have to do? Is that the chest they want me to open? There's no way. No, there's no way. Wait. Is there another chest that they want me to open? There's no way that's the chest. Oh wait, we'll defeat these guys now and then we'll, we'll, we'll do the challenge. I think that's a good idea. What do you guys think? This moment will be frozen in time. Is that the chest? That must be the chest they mean, though, right? 
Like, there's no other... I, I don't have any other idea what chest it could be. Oh! How did you know of the power of the Sweetie Dingy? I would ask that you... Never, ever talk about the Swingy Dingy again. That mustn't be the chest. It must be a different chest because there's no way they'd like... They'd make us like... You know what I mean? Like... Maybe I just couldn't see the chest. There you go, got you. Oh, in a day's work. We'll see, though. Because, like, I, I didn't see any other chest. Yeah. <laughs> Turn you up for a second. Nice little swirl going on there. Yeah, no, it, is, it can't be this chest because there's a chest right here. Yeah, okay, there's another chest. I just didn't see it. I feel like, I feel silly sometimes, you know what I mean? I feel very silly. There's a bunch of stuff over there we can do as well. Look at that. Let's try this again. What chest are they talking about? Oh my god, I keep I keep jumping and then falling off like a silly billy. No, you don't get to come back up here. You fell. You fell. You stay down there. Why do I why can't I oh my god, why can't I do it? What's wrong with me? What is wrong with Calvin? You don't get to do that! You stay down there. What chest did he talk about anyway, though? Why can't I- I pressed X again, why can't I- why can't I do it? What's wrong with me? Like, this is like the- this is what happened in the challenge as well, or the- the- the, the, the test. You get go away. There we go. Oh, it's there. Okay. Yeah, it was a different chest. Is nice little challenge done there. Answer from this world. Yeah. It was totally me, by the way, that's messing up. Because if I can do it right, that means the game is programmed for you to do it right. You know what I mean? It's not me. It's not the game messing up. It's me. Where are we going? Come here. Oh, there's another one around here. There he is. I'll get your brother, okay? Two seconds. Look at that family up there enjoying the sights. Yeah. 
Wolven Dome has been a very fun place, so look how big this place is. It's ginormous. Ooh, precious chest. I'll keep this close. Nice. <gasps> We're building up our adventure rank a lot as well, and we have a lot more prio gems as well. We're gonna collect so many prio gems. It's actually crazy. <gasps> and there's another one over here too. Look at this. And there's a challenger. What the hell is it? What is this game? This game is so mahusive. Like this game is gigantic. Am I not seeing this properly? Okay, let's go over here now and do this challenge because it's the thing we can see right now. And we have this then. What's the challenge? To feel and oh, for sure. What's the hurry? This creates a melt and you can do more damage, right? Oh, we got it. Did we? I feel like I feel like they, they were very generous with that. Fascinating. That was extremely generous. I don't think they had to give that to us. This way. Personally. I want to activate this too. It's right there. Yeah, we, we, I, we probably passed it like 300 times. Look at that roll he did there. Well done, Kaya. Nothing to do here. Just trying to live my best life. Hope no one swirls me. With the wind! Oh, hope no one shoots me down with a swirl. I hope Noel isn't here to pick oh I died. Okay, grand. Another teleport waypoint, then we're gonna go up there and activate that. Yeah! You guys don't wake up. Oh they did wake up. Look at that, this weapon is so much better. Thank you for suggesting that. Like now Noelle has come from like, just like a character aesthetically I think is cool, to now I'm like in love with her uh, moveset as well. The Swinger Dinger style. White Iron Chunks, and then we have to go up this way. Well, we don't have to go up this way, we have to climb up that way, but I think this is locked, but we might as well explore what this is as well. Oh, this is, this is only destroyed by ice, right? No, it's destroyed by fire? Because it overexposes itself? Yep. Cool. We're all level 24 boys up here. Hello? Are you all level 24 boys? Yeah! Level 15 as well, don't count this short. Wait, wait. Cool it! Oh, so sorry. What's the. We should definitely defeat these guys first, then we can focus on Amber defeating this guy in well. Oh, your shield. You want a bomb? You take that, actually. What's up with you guys? You're still alive? Oh, no, the bomb's gonna get him. It didn't kill him fully, though. In fairness. Um, where d Is there a place you want to follow me to follow you around, or...? Oh, no, we have to somehow get them to a activate this. Oh, cool. Very cool. Okay. Um, sorry guys. You don't mind if I butt in for a second? Leave it all to me. I'm about to do something crazy. Shot on this guy as well. Ooh. Cool. We need to activate all four of these as well because there's one there too, so we need to come down from above as usual, right? And activate it with the, the wind style. <gasps> this is another cool area as well. Like, look at all the little things you can explore in this world. It's really cool. Really, really cool. <laughs> oh, 
Got some raw meat for ourselves as well. And we do this. Nice. And then they can go over here. Is that all of them? There's one more left somewhere. We can find him though. Some berries. I like a few berries if I'm being honest. Franklin, you've never been honest in your life. Brandine, I've been an honest man since I met you. And you just made me more honest. Would you marry me? Oh, no. Okay, uh... So stuff over here anyway, we can do, destroy this. Like, we might as well do it as we're going along. I love carrots, man. I'll take this. Is this an answer from this... I cut off for, um, like hearing Zach Aguilar's voice, which by the way, I freaking love hearing his voice any second of the day. Yeah, a lot of you guys were like, oh my god, like you recognize his voice. Near Replicant, to me, is a game that means the world to me. It is my third favorite game ever created. Um, so like, it is a game that like, like I love so dearly that I could never ever really forget it, you know? Uh, we're not going to be able to do this yet because I think it's going to be a higher level, but still be activated at the very least, you know? And then we can go and get the other part of the world, and then I, I, I expect if we we're going to get that in this episode, so maybe we might go back and, like, start a little quest. Locked. 16. Okay, so this is actually pretty close to where our rankings are going to be. Very well. We can go and back and do that at some point. What a- this is a very exploration-heavy episode, wasn't it? Very exploration-heavy, which is going to happen. So, ice, we need fire. <laughs> You know, you guys are are toast. I read the I, I read the tutorial. <laughs> You're toast. Oh, how unfortunate when someone reads the tutorial. <laughs> oh, wait, you dead? Guys, Wonders becomes more tough. What happened? He read the tutorial. My God. <laughs> He read the tutorial. Had everyone. Had had the had the children. <laughs> oh. Once we melted them, I think that's when we go in for the kill, right? With like Maybe I'm wrong. To. And we'll head in this direction and towards the statue, and it will offer something to the statue as well, because I think we had, did obtain a lot of stuff in this episode that we can offer up. What's down here? Jesus Christ! Every time, every time I look in a new area in this game, there is like something else that's just mad crazy. Bet you can't keep up with me. That like needs to be explored. How far away? <laughs> Storm Terror's Lair. Maybe we shouldn't Don't go here just yet. Maybe this isn't a good idea to be here just yet. But I guess over there is Storm Terror's Lair. But no, that is where we have to activate, so maybe we shouldn't go there just yet. I wonder then, instead of going there, would it be a good idea to activate this uh, at some point? Probably, right? Um, we started here at Starfell Lake. We haven't activated this yet, which is crazy. Even though we've been to the Thousand Winds Temple. Um... I can take this off now, I think. Delete it. Uh, Cape Oath. We haven't been... We haven't activated the thing in Cape Oath yet. I think we go to Cape Oath. Because this is another... I think these are the, the elemental trials we're going to have to do. Anyway, right? So I also want to go into here. Because this is definitely one of the places we have to go. So I'll activate that. Yeah. Let's do that. What do you guys think? I'm having, a, I'm having such a good time. It's actually like not even like... Like, not even being, like, any way facetious. Like, this is, like, just, like, a really, really good time. I'm loving my time with this game. Um, and, like, yeah. Like, I totally get, like, and I've talked about it before. Um, on, on the Twitters. Like, 
this this game is funded by you know people who spend money on the game and, and spend a lot of money on the game and that's fine like you know what I mean that's 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 not I'm not I'm not here to judge like when we get into the morals of what video games you should be playing like I'm sorry guys but like you may have like a moral judgment on one of these things but like then you know, there's there's arguments to made. Hey, don't play Ubisoft games ever again. You know, for the stuff that's going on in uh, at Ubisoft. You know, look what happens at, with with crunch time and all this stuff. And it's like, where do you draw the line then? You know, because like there's so many things that you. And here's the thing: I'm totally all for supporting game devs because game devs like mean the world to me. But you you get what I'm saying? It's like, like I I like I think that everyone should just be like, okay, okay with your morals, and I won't judge you. I won't judge you on like if you're playing. Um, you know, a game that does have this type of elements in it, like, because I'm having a blast. If that makes sense. I mean, I, I'm worried it made, I made it sound like I was like, ignore your morals, ignore, ignore being good, ignore people in, injustices. That's not what I'm saying at all. I hope, I hope, I hope it, you can ask me if you're like, hey, I kind of misinterpreted what you said 100%. Um, support is needed, right? You know what I'm saying? This has to be one of the challenges as well, doesn't it? Has to be. Excuse me. Freeze. I forgot you can hold the weapon as well, which is really cool. Yeah, damage per second. That's what you were saying. Kai is definitely more damage per second than other people. In this game, for a marrow head, I'll take that. Did I even take it? Who knows? How fortunate. This is a. This is this is walking into a into a bona fide trap. We're walking into a trap right here. And I like it. <laughs> you thought that this wasn't gonna affect you guys. Oh, you're yeah, doing a dance! Here. When you get done from your little squirrely duels. Oh my god, can you imagine that? You're just doing a dance with your buddies and then walks in the well and, and freaking uh, Billy Bob wander up there. You're in trouble now. Let's get all these archers first. Right. Right. Knocking them down might be a good idea. Yeah. So then we can have them on the floor later on. What's down? Oh, this is electricity. So, Amber. Amber, you're up. Look at that. Did you knock off? No, it just fell up, up there. That's a boss? Dada! Oh. Okay, one second, watch this. That did not work at all. <laughs> that did not work in any way, shape, or form. So we have to burn the shield, as usual. Let's try and t t uh, cut him over here. Not oh so no, hard. this this this, this person's not letting us get away with it. Oh! Help! Where do we even go? <laughs> uh okay. Let's let's get rid of a lot of these enemies first. <laughs> it was over here, wasn't it? With their shooting arrows? Yeah, listen. I get it. You're trying to impress you Dada. Me. me too. I'm trying to impress Dada also. So, how's about we call to quits? Ah! Dada, one second. I get it, you're trying to impress Dada. Oh, looks like we both have bows and- Hey! What was that? Okay, we gotta use Noel just to knock this guy down at this point. Yeah. Okay. Switch back to our girl. Who's shooting us now from the other way? Knock that down. Keep burning the shield. Keep burning that shield. Go over here and deal with these guys. Is the shield gone? No, the shield's gone. Okay. As a good night should. And then we do this. And then do a lot of damage to uh, Dada. Our boy Dada. 
Do get frostbite. Do get. Stop telling them not to get frostbite. We need him to get frostbite to win. I know it's just a joke, by the way. I know he's making a little quip. Really fun. Dot is gone. Dot is dead. Your dot is dead, by the way, guys. I'd calm down. I honestly wouldn't. I wouldn't be being this cheeky, actually, if I if my dot was dead. You know. Little Timmy knows about that. You know. I thought this would want to be one of the, one of the cryo things, but I guess not. Okay. <laughs> Work on you first, I guess. Nice little bit of damage, and then go back to these guys because they're wet. Dodge this. Cool it. Oh, we missed them just by a little bit. We have to be better with our, our, our closing in the distance as well, right? For sure. Luckily, combat in this game is actually, like, really fun. You know what I mean? Because, like, even mistakes, it's like, okay. Like, I'll just go back up and fight him again. And where's the other guy? It's over here, isn't it? So we should use Amber on this one again. Nice. Okay, then we get the chest, and there's also something here, so hold on a second. Um, how do we change our party again? Oh, party setup here. Yeah, party setup. Um, and we'll, for now, we'll swap Noelle. For Ooh, you're taking me out. level 11, Lisa, just just to have her for now, so she can do this for us, you know. You're in for a little shot. Oh, that was the other one. Cool, 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 cool. Um, I wonder if we should try out Lisa for a bit as well, though. Like, there's no point in not using her. You know what I mean? No pain. But then again, I no kind pain. of want to like. <laughs> I kind of like our party. So look, look, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see, we'll, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Um, let's switch back to Noel for a second, and then I want to go into the party setup and level some people up as well. That's the wrong thing, apparently. Are you okay? Okay. <laughs> level up. Um, use these, I guess, to get to in the, the one level. I think that's max as well, isn't it, for now? Yeah. And then we can do the same with our girl here. Mm. Just use all these, right? To get to two. Uh, same with uh, our boy Wonder. And then same with our boy Kaya. Wrong thing to use there. I think these is, is much better. To get to level 20, because why not at this point? Dressing room. Oh my god. How much? <laughs> oh. Wing gliders. Oh, we have new wing gliders. Yeah. Ooh. So that's our normal ones. These are the other ones. They're cool. These are the coolest so far. Winds of companionship. Um, honestly, though, not. Let's see. Do we? We know we have other stuff we can buy here as well for, in terms of outfits. Uh, we saw those outfits for profile. About the tower. Oh my god! Hold on a second. What the hell is this? Oh, it's all the stuff that she she was telling us about stuff. Oh, cool, cool, cool. Very cool. I want to go back to the town really quick. Or maybe we should, like, continue on with this quest and continue, um... Like, just finishing it off, maybe? If there's, like, I'm trying to see where else on the map this could go to. So, if you look at the map... 
we had this one which was like, like an area with a gore and this one here so i'm guessing it has to be cape oath right it has to be this area here now we could be wrong but it wouldn't hurt to like explore it a little bit you know it wouldn't hurt to explore it a tiny bit And then maybe we'll start the story quest. I think that, that's the best idea. We'll start the story quest and after we do this. So for the next time, we can just go uh, a little bit into the story, you know? We won't be... Apparently there are other regions. We won't be leaving the other regions until... <laughs> Who's shooting at me, huh? <laughs> this is Noelle. I wouldn't shoot at Noelle. That'd be really terrifying. So we just try... Yeah, we'll go up to Capo. Right. Cause it seems like there's like some sort of camp up here. That boss was super fun, by the way. Like, it, like it's super fun. Like you know, you know, whittling them down, like with the elemental stuff. Like with the, we were whittling them down with fire. <laughs> I'm behind here. Tag rules. You can't get me. I'm in safe zone. <laughs> I was just, I, I was just safe zone. So too bad. Oh. Yeah, it's definitely that up there. Look at that. There's a cr there's a fire one. Um, yeah, I think it's this over here. Yeah, for sure. Maybe, like, we, we, we actually don't know. <laughs> you know, that's the thing. We don't know. But I think they are, like, um, little elemental... Oh, like, uh, oh, another shield boy? One second, your shield boy. I'll get you. You can't keep up with me. Oh, sorry. Oh, just gotta get out of this. I wanna switch to Noel for a second. <laughs> just damage this guy as much as possible. Just get him out of the way. Because he, like, he's gonna be a problem. You know what I mean? These, this guy's gonna be a problem. We wanna fight a uh, big boy. We're gonna have to deal with little boy first. Someone needs and then deal with this guy as well. Swing! I, this is my favorite move to do in the game. It's so much fun. Shield boy, one second. One second, shield boy. We should have dodged that, to be honest. There was no excuse for that. Okay, now we can do this no first of all. Damage is shield. <laughs> Man, these bosses are so fun. I know, I know he's just like a basic enemy that's been dolled up as a boss, but that's awesome to me. You know what I mean? There's no shame in that because like it's like I'm having a good time. Like there's no reason to complain. There's no reason to be like, oh this this is kind of weird. It's just a normal enemy. Like Someone it's so fun. Like I'm having a good time. <laughs> like so I'm like at this point it's like whatever, you know? <laughs> and it's the exciting part about it too. Oh dude, you just Come here to me now for a second. Your shield's on fire, is it not? Not yet. I don't think this does anything else, but it's fun to do while we're doing this, you know? The shield's gonna get destroyed anyway. Wish you could do Probably didn't even need this, to be honest. You know what I mean? We, we took it. We took advantage of what we had to do. All in a day's work. Excuse me. You're cooking me for me. Dodge this. See, when they're iced, I wonder then, you know, should we superconduct them then? I think that's probably like, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, um, how do I say? It? Like, melt them once once they're iced. Like, do this, and then do this. Does that work? Or is there variations of that that will work? <laughs> I 
Oh, okay, you can stay there. <laughs> I ain't dealing with that. Let's go up to this big one as well. Really good, really good stuff. How fortunate. Anyway, we have to, there was a chest, we, we got the chest. Oh, not what I wanted to do, but look, it'll work anyway, maybe. And that's the third one. We did it. Nice. That, 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 um, girl who was doing all the exploration stuff is going to be so freaking happy. Like, she was like, there's no way we can do this. Oh, God. Oh, wait. Hey, yeah, we should do this. This moment will be frozen in time. Yeah. Almost rank 11 now. Okay, let's go and get that stuff because I feel like we've. Oh, there's something up there we have to get. There we go. It's great though. It's really, really good. Where's the chest there? Get ready for the gliding champion of Mondstadt. To get her. Wow, these will come in handy. Her <laughs> thing's taking off her again. Um. Yeah, I can see it's right up there, but are, they're not gonna let us just climb up there. We're gonna have to go from the top, I think, up here. Oh, hello. That's more like it. There's another one around here then. Usually you can hear them before you can see them. And he was just hanging around out there. There we go. Yeah, each area has been so like um distinctive but similar like it feels like it's part of the same world but you could definitely differentiate where they are coming from you know what i mean are you going to a different area altogether no, you're not thank god <laughs> I, was like, I was like where do you think you're going there it is look it's right there it's right there no problem Ooh, oh we got a new adventure rank too um, so if we go this way, we can unlock a little, uh, waypoint. Um, but I think we're going to do the, all that maybe, like, in the next one, because there's some stuff. I want to go back down here and get this quest, and then we'll go up to the cape, uh, place there afterwards, and fully explore that area. A lot of people as well were saying, not a lot of people, a few people, were saying you should do, uh, live streams. That's not this channel. Um... It's never been this channel. I don't... Like, it's not that I don't like live streams. Like, I don't even watch live streams. Like, I love watching videos that were made by someone playing the game. Uh, now, here's the thing. I watch VODs of live streams, and they're cool. Um, but for me, like... Like, I just... I was never really a, a big live stream guy. Um... And I think it's just because from, like, if I want to make the content that I like, I love just making videos like that, like, at any point, you can watch at any moment, you know what I mean? Like, and it's kind of, like, there and VOD'd for you right away. I don't know, like, it's weird. Like, there's nothing wrong with live streaming. Oh my god, Northern, Northland or Claymore Billet. What the frick is that? Hold on a second. Wrong button. Let's check weapons. Will that be something that we could equip for you? We have two bloodstained greatswords. Would it be a good idea to trade in the greatswords for certain, like, like for certain characters? 
So then we have the cool cold steel, which is a cool weapon. And then we have Sword of Dissension, which we can wear, I think. Uh, who has the Claymore, then? You? Who can wear the Claymore? Did we not just get a new Claymore? Am I being silly here? Like, did we not just get a new Claymore? Am I... I was so sure we just got a new Claymore. Oh, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a billet. It's like some, okay. Yeah. Okay. My bad. Yeah. That's fine. And then also, hold on a second here. Uh, achievements. We got some more achievements. So let's, let's get these now before we, it's too late. You know what I mean? Calvin will forget. There we go. Um, Dr. Livingstone, we, we did it. Pardon me, I was lost in thought. Tell me about the Sword Cemetery. What, you've broken the three seals? Then does that mean you defeat all three Hilichol tribes? Well, there's some left. I left some alive. I'll be honest. Well, such an appetite for action, some, such boundless wisdom, such great strength. I didn't know both of us were adventurers. Thank you for succeeding where I did not, but I'm going to stay here. There are still many mysteries to be solved at the Sword Cemetery. As adventurers, it is our duty to unearth ancient secrets, so I should continue to investigate here. Awesome. Really cool. There's one right up there. Let's go up. That was awesome. Yeah, and like, it felt good because it's something that like we built up for a while in our heads. I didn't know if I was even going to be able to do it. And I did it. I did it, Mom! I did it. Okay, so now I want to go back to Mondstadt really quick. We haven't even activated this one over here. What's wrong with us? Um, and we'll start the next quest. I think that's what I want to do. Um, and that quest... It's not, it's not here. <laughs> it's here. Shadow of Mondstadt. Sansa? How is Sansa? You doing okay? Perfect time. Listen to this. Goo goo. Good evening. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen and... I still can't do it. As soon as my former stammer just gets out of control. See now, man, that looks a lot like me. Stammer? I'm practicing for my first ever performance, but I'm so nervous. I can speak fine normally, but as soon as I'm aware that I'm performing, I get all tense and tongue-tied. But I've always deemed of doing this. So I gotta keep trying. Tell me more about your dream. My parents were extremely resistant to the idea of me being a bard. They said there'd be no job security whatsoever. They were hoping I might be an academic, but research skills are dire. Those were the days when they'd lock me in my room and force me to study. The only joy I got was from hearing the bards sing outside the window. That got me interested in then, and then after I grew up, I just wanted to be a bard. Even if it meant falling out with my parents, I had to give it a try. This is the path I've chosen. I'll find a way around obstacles in my way. Even the stammer I know, I can do it. You can! Oh, before we do everything as well. Claim these as well. For tomorrow. That's our quest we're doing now. Wait, there's something else there. Chapter 1? Oh, claim rewards. There we go. Look at all the stuff we're claiming. Awesome.
Oh yeah. Archive. Books. Um, we have something new for the Legend of Vanessa? No, we don't. We only have volume two. Okay, we already read that. Battle of the Squire read that too. Heart of Clear Springs. We don't have volume one, two, three, four. A Drunkard's Tale. We'll maybe wait till we get volume two as well. Maybe wait till we get volume one. I, f I don't like reading these unless we have the other volumes. It feels weird, doesn't it? Okay, Heart's Desire. Moonlight. Legend tells of a corner of the city that has been forgotten by wind. To reach that place, they must stand before the fountain, close their eyes, then wait for 35 heartbeats. Then walk seven circles clockwise around the fountain, followed by seven further circles anti-clockwise. Upon opening uh, one's eyes, uh, one will find that they've arrived at a little shop. Excuse me, is anyone there? Vage asked timidly as he stepped through the door. As the door closed behind her, the bell that hung from it rang out. Its crisp and clear sound filling the room and cutting through dimly lit drudgery. drudgery. The dull glow twilight seeped gently through the frosted glass of the display case windows. Uh, stacks of curious objects filled every part of the room. Veja made her way through the store cautiously for fear of stepping on something and breaking it. There was no answer. Veja now began to examine the objects around her more closely. An obscure mechanical component of ornate ancient leer. A broken ceramic tile engraved with incomprehensible markings. A pair of old manacles, dented and scratched from years of use. A forgotten crown that once belonged to an aristocrat. There we go again. At some point, so they still have a part in the history of this world, you know? At some point, as she was inspecting these, these objects and no apparent utility, the shopkeeper appeared beside her. The shopkeeper's eyes were like those of a fox, with long, slender pupils at their center. The fang once belonged to a wolf uh, king. Aside from the gods, it is probably the only thing uh, left that uh, remembers the land the way it used to be. Every inch of it covered in ice and snow. She spoke softly. Welcome to the store. Do you see anything that takes your fancy? Do you have anything that can help someone to forget? Why, certainly. Vega clutched her chest as she pursued the question further. The fox-eyed shopkeeper express expression turned stern, and she nodded as she continued. I know that uh, the one you wish to forget is a young man with limpid eyes, as clear as moonlight. He disappeared a long time ago, and left a deep hole in your heart. Nothing else can fill that hole, all other blessings, no matter how joyful they may be, feel elusive and out of your reach, just like the moonlight before your eyes. Vega was stunned into silence, all she could do was nod along. The fox-eyed shopkeeper smiled and seemingly out of nowhere presented a bottle of wine. Uh, the, this wine will help you forget your pain. Long ago in the age of the, when the icy winds blew, our forebears brewed this wine in secret deep within uh, the frozen earth to give uh, them strength to keep surviving. The method they used to brew this kind of wine was forgotten, and when the people's fate took a turn for the better, and the lives became more joyful, she tilted the wine back and forth. There's not much left, and since it seems you have an affinity with the store, this is the one for free, provided, of course, that this is what you really want. Vega took uh, the goblet of wine from the fox-eyed shopkeeper's hand. The goblet must once again have been adorned with precious gemstones, but it has been since removed, and now only clue to his existence was the empty, lonely indentation of it uh, it had left behind. When Vega regained consciousness, she was stood in front of the fountain. Hmm, what am I doing here? She wondered to herself. As the moon shone d uh, down brightly, she began briskly walking back home. The glow of the twilight had all but disappeared now, and she didn't get uh, back soon. Uh, she didn't get back soon. If she didn't get back soon, she'd have forgotten all about the strange store from the route that had taken her there uh, to everything that had happened inside. She's gone, the fox-eyed shopkeeper said after the door shut and the bell had stopped ringing. A young man with, one with limpid eyes, bright as moonlight, stepped into view from the back of the store. Thank you. How many times has she visited now? Six, no, seven times? The young man hesitated for a moment and asked, Does the wine really work? It's not that I don't trust you, it's just... The shopkeeper smiled, though the meaning of her smile was ambiguous. This wine causes those who drink it to forget their pain, but you share your shared history is not a painful thing for her. All this wine can do is temporarily forget her uh, longing for you and the grief. So this is the young man. Wherever she sees the moonlight, she will see you reflected in it, and the memories will start coming back. The time you met at Ludi Harpstrom, Harpstrom, the afternoon spent beneath the trees in Windrise, the view from Cape Oath, and the time you sneaked out of the midsummer celebrations together, hand in hand, the song and feathered cape you offered her at the assembly of the traveling bards. 
all of these are memories she will be reluctant to part with. I do have another bottle of wine in the shop, one that can make someone truly forget of every, everything if you wish. I could give her that to drink instead. She smiled slightly as she watched the young man. After a long silence, he let out a sigh. Tell me, why do you insist on leaving her? Ah, oh, well, this is... It, it, it's this. This is the reason. The young man reached into the breast pocket and took out a, spherifl, a spherical object made of crystal. Unknown symbols could be discerned faintly flickering inside. I am led to believe that people who received one of these will one day disappear from this world. If that is so, then the earlier I leave, the better. She is still young. If she forgets me now, then she will still have time. Well, 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 sneered the shopkeeper. So you ha are one of the chosen. It would appear so. But do you know anything about what happens to the chosen in the end? The young man asked eagerly. She forced a smile, but I did not reply. I should be leaving now. I should be leaving. Now I am the owner of this thing. I suppose I should get on with doing things that are expected of me. And if she returns, what would you have me do? I think we should leave her to handle on her own. What a heartless man you are. Interesting stories that they tell in these games. I actually kind of like them. Like, quite a bit. Um, they're fun. They're really, like, like interesting and they're well-written. I loved kind of seeing these cutscenes as well because I love talking to these characters. Are you able to analyze it? Let me take a look. Hmm. I can see impurities in the crystal, but upon further inspection... No, I'm sorry. I can't make a proper analysis at the moment. Give me some time. I'll take a look through the library's restricted section. Right. I'll leave the research to you then, Lisa. Understood. I'll notify you all if I make any progress. So, I wouldn't go getting your hopes up. They were incredibly ancient texts, not to mention- Ouch! Watch you get hurt, buddy. Gosh, that hurt! The impurities in the crystal- It hurts when I get close. Oh, I see. It appears to react to visions. Oh. The impurities and the elemental energy we embody repel each other. It's strange, though. You have elemental abilities as well, but don't seem to be affected in the same way. So we are special. Anyway, the crystal would be better left in the hands of my cutie. It will just be a pain if left with us, both literally and metaphorically. <laughs> I like how different the personalities they are between the these two girls here already. Um, but still, though, I like, I'll like. i say I'll keep it. I don't want to be a like cutie. Oh, no, I should say I'll cutie. Because then it, I'll be like, That's what do you mean me. cutie? Yeah. Do you know anything about what makes you special? Not at all. I not do one not bit. know what to make of it either. Well then, the Knights of Favonius have another favor to ask of you. Sure. Please accept the title of Honorary Knight and the gratitude of the Acting Grand Master. Honorary Knight of Favonius? We so ask we're for a your knight. continued assistance in finding some answers. That's awesome. <sighs> Storm Terror's But obviously rage. we're only honorary. And strange crystals. I know oh, turn to nighttime outside. hangs in the balance. Awesome. The this is really cool. Open your eyes to the truth. Thank you. We'll meet back here if you find anything. For sure. That's awesome. Okay, so we are an honorary knight of Vivonius now. We should switch this character to us. And we got a new quest on Inspector Counter, so we have to go. So many new quests. <gasps> yes. We have so many new quests to start with as well. That's gonna be awesome. And look how cool this place looks too. I can I can I be can I can I get a cool outfit like Eugene? No? Okay. Thank you guys so much for watching this and thank you so much for the producer tier of this channel that has made all this possible. Uh the can never repay the baby gangster tier, which is Ty Fire 2 Jamie Bull, Janet the Banana, Sminge, Rachel S, Normal Cara, Felicitous Felix, George Candelaria, Eskun, Yuld, and Radish. I'm really enjoying this game. I really am. It's really, really good. 